We are Team F21-55, and we were tasked with developing an active gravity offload system for lunar rover testing for Lunar Outpost. Previously, Lunar Outpost tested their prototype rovers at the gravity we experience here on Earth, which is 83% more than that on the moon. With a system capable of active gravity offloading, Lunar Outpost will be able to test their rovers more effectively before their missions to the moon, and they will have a far better sense of how their rovers will perform under lunar conditions. In addition to developing an active gravity system, it was requested that our team expand the existing Mind Center for Space Resources lunar testbed to be double or triple the previous size. Before developing the gravity offload system, our team was tasked with emptying and disassembling the previous testbed of 6 feet by 8 feet and designing and building a new testbed of 16 feet by 14 feet. Our gravity offload system and the newly expanded testbed is one fully integrated system. Our gravity offload rig is scoped to two-thirds of the size of the testbed due to availability of materials. The testbed and the structure of our offload rig is built out of primarily 8020 extrusion, so that in the future our model can be easily disassembled and moved as requested by Lunar Outpost. The offload rig features an overhead gantry system similar to that of a 3D printer but on a much larger scale. The system tracks the rover below using an angle sensor and a universal joint which records the change in angle of the vertical cable in the X and Y direction and converts it to a voltage to be sent to the motors. Feedback loops along with two fixed brushless motors with 16 to 1 gearboxes which power the rig's HBOT system allow the overhead trolley to track and follow the rover. An HBOT gantry system, which is typically used in 3D printing systems, works using eight total pulleys and cable forming an H shape. In the figure, you can see how when both motors spin the same way, the trolley moves along one axis. When they both spin in opposite directions, the trolley moves along the other axis. Finally, when only one motor is activated, the trolley moves along the diagonal. This gives our gantry system two degrees of motion. To actively simulate gravity, a load cell fastened to the trolley detects change in cable tension. This happens via a wheatstone bridge within the load cell. The load cell uses Arduino code to read the output from the Wheatstone bridge, then calibrates the output into a tension measurement. The cable is then adjusted using a non back drivable worm gear motor on the trolley, which can retract and release the cable as needed as the rover picks up rocks or drives over hills. Our system is capable of tracking lunar outposts map rovers at speeds up to 10 centimeters per second, and is fully functional and supporting robots up to 90 kilograms, lunar outposts' heaviest rover. A GUI was built with the system for user interface. A touch LED screen is used with a Raspberry Pi to display outputs and instructions to the user. The user can also use this GUI to input certain parameters such as rover weight and calibration inputs. Our gravity offload rig is truly one of a kind. With hard work and dedication, we have helped provide Lunar Outposts with a device capable of advancing the reliability of rover testing.